Hey folks, I logged into Zoom today and saw a new tool that I wanted to just make a quick video on that I thought people might enjoy or appreciate. Uh, so I came in and I logged into the Zoom website where my account is uh, and saw this little whiteboard. So I clicked on that, it had the little new icon. I was like, oh, what's this about? And sure enough, it is a way to create whiteboards in advance of class. And so let's create one just kind of really quick. It's pretty simple. Uh, it reminds me very much of Google Jamboard. So over on the left, you have your different tools to draw, put in shapes, <coughs> lines, text, sticky notes, uh, images, and of course the eraser. So I could just select here, and it gives me a couple different lines to choose from. So maybe I do a few, you know, a few arrows here or there, um, and then maybe a circle, just kind of show what this looks like, and yeah, a little more drawing just to kind of add all sorts of silliness to this. Uh, great, so now it's here. Uh, I might want to give it a, t a title, so I might call it, you know, Whiteboard 2, just so if I'm building out a bunch of these, I have different ones to draw upon. So building it here is, is valuable. It's not the only key piece about this, but if, if you're looking to, if you're wanting students or whoever's in your group to play around, but you want to build out some structure in advance and not have them go to something like Google, uh, to, to Jamboards or something like that. You want them to stay within the Zoom. Uh, this tool is what's going to fill that and you can save it. Um, so if I come here, it allows a version history. It allows me to export it as PDF or PNG. So after the session, you can save it and share it with everybody. Uh, you can also share it in, uh, with other people Typically, it's set to within your organization or to anybody. If you're if you have an organizational account, if it's outside of an organizational account, you should be able to share it with other people. Any other people that have Zoom accounts, so you put their email in here, and then you could change their role from co-owner, editor, commenter, or viewer. Uh, so again, some awesome some possibilities for for sharing. You can also copy the link. So again, you can just uh, you could come down here and like other <clears throat> excuse me like other settings uh, other share settings on collaborative documents you can decide who can have access uh, your organization or by invite only so these are all you know you can do all of this within here and then when you're ready you can go into a, first of all let me back up and say make sure you have the most updated version of zoom so that is going to be if we come down to uh, check for updates <coughs> you will want the 5.10.3 version. Um, and you will know if you, if you log into the Zoom app and you don't have that, it will instead what you will see on the screen will say check for updates. All right, so I've, I have the updates. I can also access those whiteboards here. So if I clicked it here, it would say, oh, here are the whiteboards that you have. Um, so I'm also noticing here, have I, I think it auto saves, but I'm gonna, yep, it's auto saves. So I'm just gonna go back to whiteboards and I should see the two whiteboards that I have here. Okay, back to here. <coughs> what I will then do is go into a meeting. I'm gonna turn my video off because I don't wanna be looking at myself. All right, that's better. Uh, and notice right down here, there's this new icon that says whiteboards. So I can click on that and it's gonna say, which which whiteboard do you want? Do you wanna start an entire new one? Do you wanna start one that you already created? So select the one I already created. And down here again, I have some, some interesting options, allow NT, uh, attendees to access after the meeting. And also all, all participants can edit. Um, so it defaults to that. You, Obviously, if you don't want them to, then you can turn it to all participants can view. So open and collaborate. And now this becomes the space for them to go in. And the other feature I didn't mention previously is down here, you can add pages. So right now, this is the first page. It tells me I can create up to 12. So maybe I want to create a new one. And now on this page, have the participants go to town, have them you know, do their sticky notes, have them uh, draw their lines and their arrows and all of that. So again, I have very similar interaction. I can even come up here and rename this as, you know, maybe it's, you know, whiteboard 2.1. 
did that allow me to do that? Let me try that again. Oh, my number lock was at 2.1. So now it is, I've now saved it as something else. Um, I still have these features to export it and that the student or the participants will also have that feature so they can download it for their own records. Uh, and I can also adjust this. I can make this bigger or smaller uh, based on that. And I can also play with the view and the view will allow me to kind of move around. Maybe I want a little more on the left and right than on the uh, up and down. All right, hope this was useful. Hope you found it interesting. Uh, and thanks so much.